Hi, I'm Justin from MQIP. Today I'll be introducing our MK2 battery powered vacuum lifter. Uh, the MK2 is designed for non-porous materials like natural stone and wet cast concrete, glass, steel, or other examples. Uh, the MK2 comes with a weatherproof carrying case uh, with two batteries, which are 18 volt lithium ion batteries. They'll get, out of each battery, you'll get four to six hours charged or runtime, and then it's four hours charge time from flat. Uh, it also comes with a wedge tool, which is used for replacing the seal, which is the contact point between the MK2 and the material you're handling. Uh, so this won't be needed for probably a season, maybe two seasons, depending on use. And then obviously the charger to charge the batteries. Uh, the MK2 is a modular system. Uh, so it comes with a variety of vacuum pads. Uh, the vacuum pads range in size, depending on what you're handling. Uh, basically, surface area dictates lifting capacity. The larger the vacuum pad, the more lifting capacity you're going to achieve. Uh, for demonstration purposes today, we have our 30 by 30 centimeter vacuum pad, which is 12 by 12 inches. It is good for 412 pounds lifting capacity and then 200 pounds lifting capacity on a vertical. So 412 pounds horizontal lifting capacity, 200 pounds vertical lifting capacity. Uh, the MK2 has three pick points. Uh, two vertical pick points on the side and then your horizontal pick point on the top. Uh, it also has handles for carrying or handling the MK2 uh, and then there's also a chain slot which is a secondary lifting restraint uh, which, which is used for basically a, a chain gets wrapped around the material uh, in the case of catastrophic failure the chain catches the material and uh, that way it doesn't damage or hurt anyone under the worst circumstances. Uh, what you see here is also a, uh, a storage position for the hose for when you're handling the MK2 or moving it, what have you. When it comes to operation, it's very simple. Connect the hose to the nipple, turn the MK2 on, slide the valve down and get back. I'm just gonna turn that off. But basically you have the audio alarm, visual alarm, which is the red flashing light, as well as a gauge showing you or indicating level of pressure. To release the vacuum, you slide this valve back up. That is the MK2. And if you have any further questions, you can contact us through our socials, email, or uh, give us a call.